What's up guys, welcome to today's video, and in today's video, yes, you saw a title and a thumbnail around, we are getting the LR7.62 Mystic Gold. With the intro out of the way, let's get straight into today's video. Okay, so, to get this thing gold, we have to get 10 kills uh, in a row. 15 times, I think it was, or something like that. I don't know, but, um, if you guys do enjoy this video, please make sure to subscribe, like, and comment, because this took me a little bit to grind out the headshots, because you have to get 2,000 headshots, and you can't really pack a punch this weapon due to it becoming explosive when pack a punched. So, I had to do, like, two round 40 runs. Uh, constantly headshotting zombies. It was a pain in the freaking ass. Um, <laughs> uh, but it was a fun grind. I still have to do one more sniper and I can get all snipers gold. Every single gold camo that I get will be posted on my YouTube channel and so on and so forth. I cannot wait to get Opal. But to get Opal, I think you have to get 30 Mangala kills, so it's going to take a really long time uh, for us to do that. I mean, technically we don't even have to go for headshots. We're going to go for normal shots, because why the hell not? Just snipe the zombies, because we're absolutely cracked on the sticks. Now, I have played a little bit, ooh, on the house. And I'll, I'm feeling lucky today, let's pop it. But why did it disappear so f quickly? Yeah, I'm gonna try and censor all my swearing. We'll try to. Because I might miss a few shits. Might miss a few f But I will definitely try my best to censor it and all the rest of it. I really should have writ written down on what I need to do to get the gold camera done. Oh yeah, and if you want like extra points, shoot these bowling balls. And you get extra points, which is pretty nice. The snipers are very interesting because the sniper I did last night, I stood up to like 4 a.m. Uh, when you pack a punch, it turns into a shotgun, which was <coughs> hilarious. It was pretty good. Um, and also, I finished the Easter egg for Liberty Falls with my friend because he watched a video on it. We nearly did the Terminus Easter egg, but um, we left it to too high of a round. We were on like 25 doing the easter egg step still, which was really stupid of us. So today we'll be doing the terminus easter egg. So that's kind of cool. I think it's, I think you have to get 10 kills consistently with a uh, sniper, maybe. I have absolutely no idea. All I know is that I'm not taking damage. <laughs> Kind of funny. Um, anyways, uh, let's spin the gobble gum. I can afford to waste my gobble gums because I've literally haven't really used any of them, and I've been getting a lot of gobble gums lately because I've been getting like up to around 40, around uh, 30, like a lot. And when I saw that people are getting to around 257. I, I was like, oh, that's a glitch, and so, sure enough, it was. Yeah, it really sucks that, like, you can still be on, the, like, the top leaderboards, even though you've done a glitch. Kind of stupid. I mean, I'm, you're not going to catch me doing the glitch. Uh, we've got 550 essence, which is pretty nice. Uh, let's get jug, and a spot around. Yay. Max ammo. Um. What do you guys think about my deep voice impression? A true gamer always griefs his own gameplay. Not even joking. I mean, I do it 24-7. Not even joking. But the reason why I changed up my approach and, and I'm doing the snipers first instead of the ARs is because I saw a video online saying that the snipers were going to be tediously hard. It really <laughs> wasn't. I think the 10 kills 15 times um, is in a row, I feel like, maybe. I have no idea, but we'll start training the zombies uh, pretty soon so we can, you know, do that. But we don't even know if we're doing it right because, yet again, I did not write down what I need to do 
<laughs> for the camo, which is very stupid of me. I have now learned to write down what I need to do. Oh, uh, coffee break. Ah, coffee break achieved. Let's go. Actually, that zombie. Ah, missed. I think that was 11 zombies. Wait, is it 10 kills that rap rapid rapidly, or is it 15? I have absolutely no eye bloody dear. Oh yeah, and, and if you guys didn't know, if you upgrade this sniper, it turns into a f***ing <laughs> rocket launcher. Not even joking. Send zombies flying. I feel like that will be the easier way to kill all these zombies in like one big go, I feel like, so. Once we get enough for pack, we'll get that. Watch this. <laughs> See, it's soldier. Literally is the best. I do need PhD uh, because it is an explosive and you will kill yourself with it. Um, I've done that numerous occasions. <laughs> it's not good. Now, does the sniper explosions count towards the camo? I'm gonna assume so. Yet again, we do need to save up for PhD. Uh, so, training the zombies, that is what we're going to be doing. Which is fun. To get headshots with the sniper, I suggest getting Deadshot Dakri will make your life 10 times easier. Because uh, you can just uh, line up your hip fire and just quick scope the zombies. And you don't have to fully aim in either. Um, and good thing to know is that a sniper one shots on purple up until like round 25, 24. And then it starts to drop off, which is pretty good. Okay, yeah, see, you can k kill yourself really easily with the goddamn sni explosion sniper. Uh, let's go on quickly get... We can't even get that. Okay, whatever. Let's go on train over here to start it area. The best uh, training area is the starter area. The starter area is, like, the best to um, train. I use the starter area, like, every single time now. Look at that, it literally two shots the ma mangler. That's hilarious. I need to wait for my stuff to heal and then I will start killing them. How the f did a rocket go over there? I never get the self revives from drops usually. That's kind of cool. Status ready. <laughs> That's great. Man, I would assume if I pick up a cr uh, self revive, it would bloody work. <laughs> Oh, look, spiders. Yay. I just, I just love the ragdoll. Like, you can move the bodies with explosives, which is sick. I love it. I was playing Did I Touch the Ground with the ray gun with a zombie body, and I was fun as hell. <laughs> I got the zombie up in the sky, up in the air for like two seconds. Now, the good thing is that for camos, since you have to kill like 30 manglers for the opal camo. I don't know if it's different for any other gun. I lost my train of thought. Okay, so this is a lot of zombies, so... That was 27 zombies right there. Was it 10 kills consistently 15 times, or was it 15 kills consistently 10 times? I have absolutely no idea. All I know is that it's consistently, so... I don't know if I've said this yet, but if you guys enjoy... If you guys are enjoying this video, please make sure to subscribe, like, and comment because I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year and all you guys to make that possible. Um, this is going to be a really fun grind. Like, I'm going to love grinding uh, zombies camos. Oh my guys. Oh, we got the Mystic Gold camo. Yay! <laughs> I knew it was either either of the two. Mega abominations are very very annoying. I absolutely despise them. You yeah, have this. <laughs> Ow, that bloody hurts. See, this explosive um, sniper is very very fun to use. I absolutely love using it because it's zombies do not stand up by chance. I, I feel like this is probably gonna be my, my main um, gun in zombies when I get all the um, zombie camos. Should we exfil now or exfil later? Huh. Not 
Fudge it. We'll exfil now. We've already got the camera, so might as well. That was easy. <laughs> oh, f***ing hell. Anyways, uh, this is what the gold camera looks like. Huh, can I, like, inspect the... No, I don't want that. I want inspection. God damn it. This is what the cam camera looks like in-game. Pretty cool. I absolutely love the camera. Looks awesome. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe, like, and comment. And as always, I will see you all in the next one. Peace.